Good morning, Atlanta Coast High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. It's Monday, October 3rd, and welcome to the Morning Rays. Tonight is senior night for our volleyball team. These six seniors will be recognized before tonight's home game against Stanton. The ceremony will begin around 6.15 with the game taking place afterwards. Taking a look at the volleyball team's schedule for the rest of the week, they will visit Mandarin on Wednesday, so hopefully Stingray Nation will be there to support. Then on Thursday, we've got a home game against Creekside. Our girls' weightlifting team has a fundraising event this Thursday night at Blaze Pizza in the St. John's Town Center. If you show this flyer to the cashier before making a purchase between 6.30 and 9.30 p.m., then a portion of your purchase will be donated to our girls' weightlifting team. It's that simple. Again, this is on Thursday of this week. See you there. The first marathon high practice will be tomorrow. When the school day ends tomorrow, please find somewhere to change into running clothes and then meet in room 122. A reminder that a copy of a recent sports physical is required before you can participate. Please bring your completed registration form along with a copy of your physical to Mr. Kushner in room 122 as soon as possible. The first official HOSA meeting of the year is this Thursday, October 6th in room 331. All new and returning members should plan on attending. This year's dues will be collected on Thursday as well. Did you know you have greater powers than you know? Powers that could save a life? HOSA is also hosting this year's blood drive this Friday with One Blood, and we're asking for volunteers to donate blood. Participants will receive refreshments, a Halloween t-shirt, and a wellness checkup, but most of all, you'll be helping to save a life. If interested, please see Ms. Shorter in room 331 or one of the HOSA members at lunches this week for a permission form. Again, the blood drive will take place this Friday, and you will need your permission form filled out by a parent or guardian and an ID. So be a hero and give blood this Friday. Have you heard about these gotcha tickets? Anyone in the school can give out a gotcha ticket. Each teacher and staff member will give out 10 tickets weekly. Students or staff can receive a gotcha ticket for being caught doing something good. Whoever receives the ticket must take the completely filled out ticket stub to the main office for a weekly drawing. Tickets are to be turned in on Friday to be eligible for the weekly drawing, and you never know what you might win. So here's an exaggerated example of the Stingray way, which can earn a gotcha ticket. Now keep in mind, you do not have to go to the extremes that these students are. As Atlantic Coast students, we have a responsibility to uphold the standards of the Stingray way. In the following clips, we will demonstrate how to show compassion in a scenario in which a student is about to slip on a wet floor hazard. Watch out! Wrong way. <laughs> Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> Bro, thank you so much, man. I could have, I could have slipped on the water there. That was a close one. Hey, guys, gotcha. You got caught doing something good. Congratulations. They're really following this Stingray way. In today's Hispanic Heritage Month segment, we're gonna learn about the United States Secretary of Education. 
Dr. Miguel Cardona, a Puerto Rican American who grew up in public housing, started school speaking no English, and went on to become Connecticut's Commissioner of Education. Determined to make remote learning accessible to everyone, he was vital in helping Connecticut become the first state in the nation to provide technology to all public school students in need. Now, Dr. Cardona is leading the Biden-Harris administration's mission to get all of America's children safely back to their classrooms after he was sworn in as U.S. Secretary of Education in March 2021. The Spanish Honor Society will have a meeting for existing members only today after school in room 622, and applications for the Science National Honor Society need to be turned in as soon as possible to room 611. Those are all the announcements for today. Have a great day, and go Stingrays!